Greetings, friends. If you could have any animal, what would you have? Let me know in the comment section below. Well, earlier this morning, I asked my family the same question. So, Josiah, if you could have any animal, what would you have? Probably an anteater. An anteater? Wow. What would you do with that? Eat all the ants. They would eat all the ants. I guess they would. That makes a good practical use there. What about you, Sayla? What animal would you have if you could have any animal? I would have a horse. A horse. Of course you would have a horse. <laughs> so, Micah, what animal would you have? Mm, a donkey. A donkey? Would you ride on that donkey? Uh-huh. Wow. That's and they awesome. had a saddle. Yeah, a saddle on your donkey. <laughs> <laughs> So, lovely wife, what animal would you have if you could have any animal? If I could have any animal, I think an elephant would be pretty cool. Elephant would be really neat. They live a long time. They could help out around the farm moving big things, and I think it would be really cool. That sounds really cool. <laughs> and, and they can help take trees out of the ground because they can knock them over. Sounds really practical. <laughs> Now those are some really creative answers, uh, and I guess for me, if I was to say some of the animals that I like, it's hard to narrow it down to just one animal. I can think of giraffes, they're really cool, or the big horned sheep, especially when they go, the rams just go boom, and even something like a spinner dolphin, if we're just like way out there thinking of animals that we'd like to have. I love the spinner dolphins, and they just jump right out of the water, or even some of the predators like a grizzly bear, or a cheetah, or a lion, or even a king cobra, that sounds really neat. But <laughs> those aren't really realistic at this time. Even though Isaiah 11, 6 does talk about a time when those type of animals will be able to interact with people. But um, to be a little more realistic, I went around and asked them again, especially for a homestead, what would be an animal that you would like to have? Something that's realistic at this time. All right, next question. So, if you could have any homesteading animal reality here <laughs> what would you have a horse would fit in that category oh, of course too. a horse again <laughs> what about you Josiah either cow or sheep I agree either cow or sheep sounds good sheep. what about you Micah mm. I'm not gonna start smoking out of your head right here <laughs> thinking too hard you need me to come back to you come back to you. a what a lion that's not a farm animal. <clears throat> Alright, Mommy. If you could add a farm animal, what would you add? Farm animal. Maybe a cow. A cow. Maybe, maybe some cattle. There yeah. we go. I knew before I even asked Sayla what her answer was going to be. A horse for both answers. Of course, a horse. But I agree with Lacey and Josiah about cow. I would like to have cow. That's always that's been something we've wanted for some time. We just don't currently have pasture area for them. But recently, we visited Jake and Becky at White House on the Hill, and they showed us their operation that they have with their dairy cow. Tried a lot of different ways, and she always kicks us, so we do this. And she can't kick me when I put the stuff on it. She'll try. She tried. She tried. And if we change up the routine, she always kind of gets. If I try to add or... to wrap with the other leg, she gets really upset. Or if I don't wrap, then she takes advantage. So.
can always press it down, but it's going to go ahead and go it's good in there. There's a six now. All right, you're good. So that one, go to the back. There. Let that hang, it'll start to create pressure and it'll start to fill up. I must admit, I really like Jake and Becky's setup here. Their milker really looks handy. It's a Molasties portable milker that Jake got from Midi Supplies. It's a perfect size for small operations like a homestead. So how long is the milking process with the machine? Say this a lot of times. It used to take us about 30 to 40 minutes to milk by hand. And we couldn't even milk her back teeth. She wouldn't let us. She'd kick us. And so once we started using the machine, we can do it about 5 to 10 minutes. And now she lets us milk the back where she didn't let us hand milk because they're, they're, so, they're a lot smaller. Wow, that's a lot of things time that you could be doing other stuff all around the homestead. <laughs> and we can do it by one with one person where when we had to milk, we each had to do one side. So we had to have two people out here, and now we can do it with just one. So if like Becky was when she has the baby, I wouldn't I'd be out here by myself, and there's no way I'd have been able to do that by hand. That was pretty quick. After the milking was done, next came time to clean up. And even cleaning up the milker looked super easy. But there's some things you still have to do by hand when tending to your animals. And then Becky's over there pooping the scoop. What? Even though you're pregnant, you're still going. There we go. It's about a gallon in here. This is like a six gallon container. So we put it over in the smaller container. We can leave this out. We can carry that back in. And that's a two and a half gallon container. I think we'll, I think we'll have about a gallon in there. So it's just a little less than
We had one problem when it got like freezing temps, really cold in February, and our our batteries just would not hold power. Um, it just got so cold, and so we end up having to get a generator out there. So we have a generator as a backup in there, but the rest of the year, the solar helps provide enough power to run the milk machine. So we might have meat breeds at some point or some, some other cows on the farm, but we really like jerseys and getting milk cows. And so our goal is probably just to, to raise jerseys, sell, sell some milk cows when we get extras and then to breed some for just our own milk consumption from year to year. If we really love their milk, you gotta try it, it's great. We love milk, so I'm definitely hoping to try. You don't have to convince me. It's good, it's really good. I don't, we're gonna have to go back to regular milk at some point when we dry her off at some point this year. It's gonna be hard because her milk is really good. We always get comments about the flies. We have fly spray we use on them and it will keep the flies off for a few hours, but it just doesn't last very long. Trying to breed more without horns. She's pretty aggressive with her horns. She's been a little pushy with them and she's pushed over kids and stuff with them. Um, so we're lucky that Maisie does not have horns, but you can actually, you can, you, you can get AI for basically whatever traits you want. And so we can get them pulled. And so where their offspring will not have horns. Wow. So how do you go about doing that? Is there some type of, um... Well, when a man a meets a woman, <laughs> not <I'm> that part. <laughs> Do the vets help out with the uh, AI there? Or? So last year we had a uh, a rep from a company, an AI company, that came over. She's not available this year, so we've had to go through a vet clinic that's not too far away. We've already talked to them, and she doesn't have the bull semen that we need, and so she's going through our rep from last year to get the stuff that we need. But then she's going to come in about two weeks to do that because we are pretty sure the way they ride each other indicates that um, when they're cycling. And so we think we have a couple weeks left till the next cycle happens and they'll come and, and do, do what needs to be done to make that happen. And then we've done the, hopefully now getting a vet involved, they can help us with doing the pregnancy tests because we did it last year and it was a challenge to say the least to try to draw blood from a cow's tail. So. She was not very happy with me. Um, but, so hopefully the vet will be able to help us more with that this year. Now the AI, how, is that something that's pretty costly or is it something reasonable? It's not as bad as you would think. Um, the semen will, last, it will be anywhere from like 15 and then 15 bucks on up, depending on what you want. If you get the pulled um, without any horns, or that gets you up to maybe 30 to 40 for the semen and then maybe another 10 or maybe 20 more if you actually want it to be sexed, male or female. And so they can do that too. So it just depends on what specific traits you want. And you can pick from like a catalog on, um, it'll say all their, their genetics as far as like teat length, um, how much milk they provide, just all, all the details you can pick from when you're picking wow. that stuff. Wow. Wow. So each time last year, because of them having, they had to come out and they did, they did like a 10 day thing to get them into heat. Um, it cost about hundred bucks each time we did it. Um, this year we're since now they're together. And so that indicate, they'll indicate for us when they should be in heat. We can save some of that cost. So it might be like 40 or 50 when we do that. That's not as nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I really like Jake and Becky set up. However, I don't know about the AI, that may be something we'd have to visit, the bridge we'd have to cross way on down the road, but I really like what they are doing. So, I need to figure out how we can get some pasture so we can start having some cows of our own. Well, I'll have to work on that. See you next time.